Hi guys and welcome to my latest IGTV which is all about jeans. Now I know a lot of you also follow Trini, uh, so do I, I love Trini and I love the way that she's just very relaxed. Sorry, I had to interrupt, I realised I just said this was about jeans, it's not about jeans, it's about jackets. Would Trini make this mistake? Oh, she probably does. I probably didn't even realise I did it. Anyway, back to it. Um, she doesn't, you know, she makes mistakes or she just, she just says what she wants. So I'm going to try and do that today. I, every time I watch her, I'm like, okay, just be relaxed, Sally. Don't worry if you stuff up or you don't say what you were supposed to say or you forget to say something. Just make it very natural as though I'm talking. So anyway, that's what I'm planning to do today. Just a little FYI. But what we're talking about today is jackets. And I'm going to share with you what I think are the top five jackets that you should have in your wardrobe. Think of jackets as just the piece de la resistance of your outfit. They really do instantly help to complete your outfit, finish off your outfit. Even think of a great jacket just as you would a great handbag or a great pair of shoes. They really do help to pull everything together and they can elevate your look, they can make it look more casual depending on the jacket. So I've just got jackets from my wardrobe, nothing here, maybe one of them is, one or two of them are current, which I'll tell you about as I'm, as I'm going through them. And what I'll do is I'll go through the jacket styles, I'll just put them on with what I'm wearing, just so that you can see how different the jackets just make a simple outfit look. And then I'll do some little quirky moves and looks and add some, put some more outfits together. Okay. And I also realise some of you, probably many of you, are looking at me thinking, Sally, are they the cotton on jeans, balloony slouch jeans? Um, no, they're not. I know I said that I wasn't going to buy anything in lockdown 2.0, but I couldn't resist these um, because they were heavily reduced on, on sale. Um, they are the Isabel Morant jeans from Netta Porter. I'll find out what they are and write them down. Um, they arrived and they just fit me like a glove. So they've got the little built-in um, belt. So you really pull them in and create that paper bag waist. As you can see, the pockets are very low. So I almost look like I've got no bum. Um, and the length is amazing. So anyway, so just letting you know, these aren't the cotton on ones. These are my new version, same but different. But I just love that I can really pull that waist in. And these will be great for working from home and keeping me out of my trackies. Just got my Uniqlo white tee on and my 124 kicks. Okay, so first jacket. All right, how am I doing keeping very relaxed and I think I'm doing okay. All right, jacket number one is the classic blazer. Now I've just grabbed black because that's what I have, but maybe for you, your classic blazer is not black. Maybe it's navy, maybe it's bone but something that is classic in style. Now guys, can you see how instantly, even though I've got a very sort of slouchy casual jean on and I've got my sneakers, can you see now that I've put the jacket on that it's really just completely changed my look? I would feel comfortable going and meeting a client in this look, if I was meeting clients. Um, I would go out for a coffee rather than feeling like maybe I'm a little bit too casual. So this is a great black, Blazer. As I said, it doesn't have to be black, but just something classic that you can wear with your dresses, your jeans, your pants, lots of options. So first one is the classic blazer, which you should all have in your wardrobe. And I, I actually do still find that many clients when we do wardrobe edits actually still don't have a classic blazer in their wardrobe. They're everywhere as well. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Okay, jacket number two. The good old trench. Now, I like a soft trench. So when I say soft trench, what that means is it's not it's not as tailored. So yes, it's still got all the beautiful trench details, the tailored um, um, shoulders and so forth. But the the tailored, sorry, the soft trench. See, I'm going to keep going even though I'm stuffing up. Um, is more relaxed. So it's not as fitted, it's not as structured as your traditional trench coat, your Burberry trench coats. This is actually a very old one, an oldie but a goodie that I still love from Sportscraft Signature. I love just the soft, relaxed style. So again, now you can see that my outfit 
has changed again. So maybe this looks a little bit more relaxed. Maybe it doesn't look as polished as it did when I had the blazer on. So this is another great style that I think every woman should have in their wardrobes. Now, whether you prefer a structured trench coat, that is completely fine. It is up to you what style is for you. I would, however, say with the trench that I would go this neutral colour. So whether it's a bone, a torque, a stone, a beige, I just think what's nice about it is that it gives you a very different look potentially to your classic black or navy blazer. So jacket number two is the trench. Now we're talking jackets today, not coats. So I, we're not talking about coats. Coats are something that you might only need one or two of in winter. These are just everyday, versatile, high rotation pieces in the wardrobe. Now, the third is the good old denim jackets. Many of you have a denim jacket in your wardrobe. I'm going to ask you how old your denim jacket is. If your denim jacket is old, maybe just have a look at it and reconsider it because a lot of old jackets are very dated. But if you've got one that is, so this is a bit of an oversized style. This is assembly label. They do these all the time, but they sell out very quickly and they're very affordable. This is that sort of oversized longer look. Whatever works for you. If your denim jacket is shorter and cropped, maybe it's shorter and boxier, maybe it's a darker denim. Guys, it doesn't matter as long as you've got a funky little denim jacket in the wardrobe. And again, so this is probably even more, this is probably the most casual look that I've put together so far. So maybe I add my little bum bag, cross body bag, and this would be a great sort of Sunday brunch if the shops were open to go out for Sunday brunch. Um, little uh, ensemble. So a denim jacket. What I love a denim jacket for is particularly, you know, in Melbourne, um, Sydney, they're great for springtime. So they're great for over dresses, skirts and, you know, maxi skirts and little t-shirts. They're just that very good trans season on there, a nice weekend casual option. So we've got the denim jacket. Number four, okay, number four. I had to think for a moment. I'll come to these ones. I think the fourth jacket you should have in your wardrobe is a fashion blazer. So you've got your classic blazer that you can still do with casual pieces and dressy pieces, but then get a fashion blazer that might be something like a colour, it might be something just like a grey check, but something a bit fun. And now you can see my outfit has changed again. Blazers are not <clears throat> going anywhere, guys, in terms of their, um, you know, in terms of their popularity, in terms of their appropriateness. They are here to stay. So I personally think get two blazers in the wardrobe, classic and fun, classic and contemporary. Um, I mean, this is a this is a beautiful jacket. This is a New York brand called Tibby. You probably know that I have a lot of coloured blazers. They're just Again, they can be very versatile in your wardrobe, um, and particularly if you've got a lot of neutral colours, blacks, navies, creams, whites, throw in a bit of colour. Now, the fifth jacket, I'm going to give you some choice with the fifth jacket, because I've got a few, and they were on the casual side, and some of you might have some of these. So the first one that I'm going to say, so the fifth jacket is again, maybe something that's a bit more, Again, maybe more fashionable or seasonal and maybe the jacket that you potentially don't spend much money on. So something a bit fun and frivolous and on trend. Now, one suggestion is the bomber jacket. Now, both of, both of these bomber jackets are quite old, but you know what? They're still really handy in my wardrobe. So I've just got a little khaki one, which is an old Scanlon one, which is sort of like a silky fabric. Then again, I'll pop it on. And again, you'll just see how it looks completely different. Um, so the bomber jacket is a good option as just a little casual jacket. So it could be something like that, or it could be <clears throat> the printed jacket. So this could even be, <clears throat> it could be a bomber jacket, it could be a blazer, I don't know, it could be I don't know what other sort of jacket but see 
And this is really lightweight. This is an oldie but a goodie that I bought in Berlin. So maybe it's just a, a fun, colourful, you know, cheap and cheerful jacket like this one was. So that's the bomber jacket. So this is jacket number five, remember? Now, some of you are probably thinking, what about leather, Sally? Surely leather's in the top five. Leather's not for everybody. So that's why I've put it in the number five as to, in terms of it could be any variation of these. So this is an oldie but goodie. I don't really wear it much anymore. I don't feel a bit like the skinny jeans. I don't feel me so much in it anymore. But am I going to get rid of it? No. I'm also going to, I realise that Trini does a lot of hair movement. I don't think I'm that bad. But you do realise when you look back and you think, oh, stop playing with your hair. Um, anyway, so if a leather jacket is something that you've got in the wardrobe, then again, it's a really versatile option. Works with everything. You can. I love a little denim uh, leather jacket over dresses and skirts. It's great for evenings just to, you know, to dress up something when maybe a blazer or a denim jacket's too casual. So den uh, leather jacket, definitely still an appropriate option in your wardrobe as number five and then the last two in terms of that number five so probably for me this has been the update to my leather jacket and this is just the faux leather shearling slash biker from witchery i don't think i think they've sold out um, but i got this a couple of months ago and so i sort of feel that this is a bit more my style at the moment oversized i actually bought a size 16 because i wanted it quite slouchy and I want it to just be like Hayley Bieber. Um, so, you know, so again, this is just a different jacket in the wardrobe. And it just works with um, everything that I've got. But it changes up how an outfit looks. I don't think I'm going to get time to um, put some looks together. Jesus, 12 minutes already. Maybe we'll split this one into two, shall we? And... The last one, which is my variation, so the other one that I think is a good casual jacket to have in the wardrobe in that um, number five option is something like an anorak, or actually this probably fits into the bomber jacket actually. Notice I haven't put a puffer jacket. Maybe a puffer jacket could also be number five. Uh, so this is actually, this is current season Uniqlo. It's very, very warm. But it's just fun with the little faux fur trim. Um, but an anorak is another good style that we buy a lot with clients. And that's the style that has the, um, the drawstring through the body. So it's a nice casual jacket. Um, often comes in khaki, navy, things like that. Often made of just a cotton or maybe sometimes it might be made out of like a, um, a raincoat type fabric. But again, you know, something like this could be in the the fifth option. You probably saw me style this yesterday in the tonal uh, video with all green. Anyway, so they're my jacket selection. So let's just go through them. You've got your classic blazer. So basically we've got four, I think, necessities. The classic blazer, the fashion blazer, the soft beige trench, the um, denim jacket, absolutely. So they're my top four. I reckon if you've got those four things in your wardrobe, those four jackets, you're set. And then the fifth jacket can be something more fashion forward, something more seasonal, something that you just go to Zara or wherever and buy and don't spend a lot of money. So whether that's a bomber, whether that's a shearling, whether that's, maybe it is actually, we could put the dare I say, the, the puffer jacket in that category. I mean, I've been wearing my puffers more than I would like to admit, to be honest. Okay, I think that's it. Yes. All right, so how, how did I do? Do you like this very relaxed approach? I kind of do. Okay, well, um, I'll come back tomorrow, I think, and put some looks together for you. Any questions, let me know. See ya. I just thought I'd better end this with a word of warning to all of those who have gone out and bought some balloon style jeans or some slouchy style jeans. I can guarantee that if you have a male in your life, they're not going to like them. 
I had my Isabel Marant jeans on last night when my husband got home from work and he promptly looked at me and said, what the hell are those? And I'm like, well, they're my jeans. He said, yeah, but like, what's going on? Like, they're all baggy and high and whatever. Men just don't get it. They don't get fashion that is a little bit oversized and unstructured. They just want to see us in tight shit all the time. Anyway, so I'm just letting you know, ladies, don't worry about what anyone says to you. Uh, if you like them and you feel good in them, and I've loved that you've been sending me all your jean styles and particularly like I've said so many of you are sending me these great jeans that look fantastic on you just wear them what do men know anything anyway about fashion not much <laughs>